They keep comparing him, what, to Kevin Durant, right? Exactly. But yeah, guess so. what? If he's going to play the three, guess who's guarding him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm the Defense same approach. I'm him. climbing into him. Pause. All right. That was a quick one. I think his height, which everybody's going crazy, I pray that he doesn't grow anymore because at 18, you could possibly he's still, still grow. <laughs> the transition to the NBA is no walk in the park. We've seen that. The NBA is the ultimate battleground where only the best survive. The competition is ruthless, the strategies are complex, and the speed of the game simply is extreme. And that's why Winbanyama has a lot to learn and adapt as he prepares to face the challenges. Yes, Winbanyama is no ordinary player. He's got the skills, the height, and the potential to be an absolute game changer in the NBA. I mean, just look at this kid. He's got an extended shooting range, a deep bag of moves that keeps defenders guessing, and the ultimate green light to light up that scoreboard. Defending him? Yeah. Good luck with that. But you know what's interesting? Not everyone is convinced of Wimbanyama's greatness. Guys like Draymond Green and Paul George have their doubts. They express their concerns on PG-13's podcast, Podcast P. They're not sold on the alien hype just yet. And the hype surrounding Wimby is through the roof. This 19-year-old basketball prodigy has earned himself a nickname, the alien. And it's not just for his towering hype. Trust me, the league is buzzing about him. He hasn't made a single regular season appearance yet, but already some of the NBA's top defenders are cooking up strategies to try and slow him down. Now here's the million dollar question. How do you guard a player like Victor Wimbanyama? Can anyone stop this basketball phenom? Well, today we're going to explore the strategies, tactics, and mindset required to take on the challenge of guarding the number one draft pick. And this is all coming from the vet himself, Draymond Green. But before we get to all that, you know the drill, fam. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and slam the notification bell so you never miss out on our mind-blowing NBA content. Now, let's get this show on the road. Now, I gotta be real with y'all. No player has ever had this much buzz surrounding them since LeBron James. We're talking sky-high expectations here. People are calling him the next GOAT. And you know what? They might be onto something. This dude is a straight-up unicorn, a 7'4 center with the handles of a guard, dominating in the paint and splashing three-pointers like his child's play. Experts in analysis from all corners of the basketball world are losing their minds over Wimby's potential. They see him challenging the likes of LeBron James and Michael Jordan for that coveted throne. And I'm starting to believe it too. But hold up. Not everyone is drinking the Wimby hype drink. We got some OGs like Draymond Green and Paul George expressing their doubts. Yeah, they think this young gun is going to face some challenges making the leap to the NBA. It's a battle of opinion, guys. These veterans don't doubt Wimbanyama's skills, but they do believe he's going to need some time to adjust. They're calling it as they see it, saying he won't be an all-star in his first year. But hey, that's not what some of those big name analysts are saying set up for failure. Now, Green knows the grind of the league all too well, and he expressed both admiration and concern for Wimbanyama. You see, Draymond understands just how challenging it is to earn that coveted NBA All-Star status. The 33-year-old has been an All-Star three times in his career, with his most recent appearance in 2022. So when he hears all the buzz and speculation surrounding the San Antonio Spurs' number one draft pick, Draymond definitely takes notice. He recognizes Wimbanyama's immense talent and potential, but he believes that some people might be setting him up for failure by placing unrealistic expectations on his shoulders. Green said, I think people are setting him up for failure like, oh, he's going to be an all-star next year. Man, it's hard to become an all-star in this league. Now, if he does, God be with him. More power to you. But to say like, he's going to be an all-star next year, as if he doesn't have to figure this game out, I don't really buy that. And you know what? Draymond has a point. Becoming an NBA All-Star as a rookie is a rare feat. The last rookie to achieve this milestone was Blake Griffin. And mind you, he had actually missed his entire first season due to injury. So technically a rookie, but with some NBA experience already with the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's not forget, my friends, that Wimbayama has a lot to learn and adjust to as he enters the NBA. The speed, the physicality, and the level of competition, it's a whole different ball game. We have already seen him struggle in his first game in the Summer League. Now, when it comes to guarding players who tower over him, Dre is no stranger to the challenge. Standing at a modest six foot six, he's often found himself matched up against centers as part of the legendary death lineup for the Golden State Warriors. 
years. And let me tell you, Green has excelled in his role year after year, shutting down big men with his tenacity and defensive skills. But next season, he faces a challenge unlike any other, guarding the seven foot four with Manyama. So how does Draymond plan to handle this monumental task? Well, he recently revealed his strategy on a podcast, giving us a glimpse into his defensive mindset. Green explained on the podcast how he intends to match up against Wimby, indicating that he doesn't intend to lose the physical battle against Wimbanyama. Green made it clear that he won't back down in the physical battle against Wimbanyama. He intends to match the French rookie's size with his own brand of toughness. Wimbanyama is undoubtedly a force to be reckoned with, but Green pointed out that the transition to the NBA might not be a walk in the park for the young prodigy. According to Green, NBA defenders might make it difficult for Wimbanyama to handle the ball as efficiently as he did before. And let's not forget the three-point shooting. Green hinted that the rookie might not find the same success from beyond the arc against tougher competition. And you know, sometimes players can reach a height where it becomes a disservice in this league, with opponents just as strong or just as fast also playing lower to the ground. And we have seen this with most players in the league. Green said, You're not just dribbling through me like the Harlem Globetrotters. I'm sorry. You can't let him get comfortable. You let him get comfortable, you lose because you can't block his shot. He may not even see your contest. So with a guy like that, you got to do your work early. I'm crowding him from the time he starts running down the court. When they get the rebound and they start coming, I'm crowding because I can't let him get to a space where he's comfortable. Now, Green knows that guarding Wimbanyama won't be easy. With the nearly 10-inch height difference, Green understands that removing the rookie from his comfort zone will be crucial. He has also examined Wimbanyama's game and sees something truly remarkable. He believes that this rookie sensation has the potential to frustrate opposing defenses like no other. But it's not just on the offensive end. According to Draymond, Wimbanyama's defensive contributions could reach an elite level, potentially rivaling the very best in the NBA. Dre said, He's going to be such an elite rim protector that I think that already separates him. Like that right there alone? Now, if you're talking about he's about to break every offense down, I ain't buying that yet. He can get to that, and he has the skill to do that, but that's going to take some time. But the rim protection, he got that from day one, and that's special. Now, Paul George, also a respected veteran in the league, expressed his belief in Wimbanyama's future success. However, acknowledged that there may be some initial struggles for the young French sensation as he transitions to the NBA game. He said, I see him doing well. I'm not saying he's going to no way at all a bust. He's going to be a star. But I think in the beginning, there's got to be some kind of struggle. Just his transition into this game, I don't think his trajectory is going to be up from day one. And you know what? Draymond and Paul George have valid points. We're still in the early stages of Wimby's career, and there's still so much we don't know about his journey in the NBA. However, one thing is for certain. Wimbanyama possesses the potential to be an absolute nightmare for defenders. Wimbanyama is a player who combines quickness, coordination, and shooting ability that can leave traditional big men in the dust. But that's not all. Wimbanyama's towering height gives him a significant advantage over any defender who dares to challenge him. But you know what's exciting? It's the offseason, and that means we get to witness the emergence of fresh talent on the NBA stage. We're talking about players like Jaime Haquez Jr., Chet Holmgren, Julian Champagne, Brandon Miller, and of course, the enigmatic Victor Wimbanyama. Summer League debut. The Wimbanyama era has officially begun, my friends. In front of a warring sold-out crowd at the Thomas and Mack Center, Wimby steps onto the court for the first time as a San Antonio Spur, going head-to-head -head with the Hornets and their own number two overall pick, Brandon Miller. Offensively, it wasn't exactly a standout night for Wimbanyama. He finished with just nine points, shooting two of 13 from the field. But hey, let's keep in mind that this is his first NBA-like game, and he's still adjusting to the speed and intensity of the league. But here's where Wimby truly shined. Despite the offensive struggles, the 19-year-old showcased his defensive prowess, pulling down eight boards, blocking five shots, and delivering some jaw-dropping passes. The potential is undeniable. So let's not get too caught up in one game. We've seen countless NBA stars struggle in their debuts and then go on to achieve greatness. When Banyama is on his own unique journey, and this is just the beginning. Tell me, what were your thoughts on Wimby's debut? Did you see glimpses of his immense potential? And also, do you agree with Draymond Green's concerns about setting up Wimbanyama for unrealistic expectations? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because we're here to keep you in the loop with all the latest NBA news and stories. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in that next buzzer-beating episode. Ciao.